something man, you know, I got to put up that paper, ha. I got to put pen to paper and start a flow and transfer it to the stage and take over the floor and let the power of this vocal world done this show. You inspired me. You got me writing constantly. Got me thinking thicker than normally. Never knew I was this nice naturally. <laughs> Should I know? You call on me to do the incredible. Summing something spontaneous into something beautiful. Reminding me I am capable of anything once I massage my mental. But I am humble, grateful, sensible, and careful. When I see you in the crowd, inspiration's eyes light up loud, loud. You direct my performance. You inspire my confidence. You nurture my intelligence. I thank you, my audience. Do you understand the power of the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> if you understood the power of the word, you would understand that you have the power to bring down the house with the word. But you know this. You feel it when certain songs are sung. You feel it when certain passages are read. You feel it when you hear the recordings of certain great ones who are dead. And if you didn't know, you will know it after tonight when everything that has to be said has been said. <laughs> What elevation, what motivation. The word of God is fuel to my engine. The word of God through the voices of the ancestors is the foundation and the root. And it is up to me to see that it bears fruit in my life. It is up to me to reap the harvest of the words of righteousness, justice, peace, love and balance that have already been sown. I must make Martin's dream a reality. I must decipher Malcolm's X Factor. I must redeem Marley's redemption talk song. I must take my sperm and fertilize these eggs of word, power, and sound, and make them flesh. So that when I look into the mirror, I see a reflection of an amalgamation of the best that has come before me. But understanding the power of the word, I choose my words carefully. Careful not to speak recklessly or without consideration. I mean for my words to nourish all those who listen. But far, far too many of us are speaking poison. <laughs> you understand the power that is coming out of your mouth? If you understood the power of the word, you would understand that you have the power to move mounts. You have the power to ride up rain, lightning, thunder, and seas. To agitate breeze. To make enemies tremble and freeze. To conquer disease with the word. Many of you are saying to yourselves, word? on the tongue, but you know this. You know this because you feel it when you let loose all of those words that you held heavy upon your heart. All of those words you should let loose from the start. Sometimes when I speak, I get caught up in a rapture. My mind produces thoughts so sublime they almost elude capture. The divine enters me at the base of my spine and winds its way up to my brain and launches off the tip of my tongue so I am nothing but a filter. I had a muse. I had a muse, but I had to kill her. She wanted me to mass produce pieces under the whip they call productivity. But how could I produce at the expense of my liberty? I am in a line of poets like Tosh and Marley. It's in their footsteps that I walk. So I understand what Bob said when, what Bob meant when he said not everything that jumped in your head good to talk. Yeah, I want to gain the world, but not at the expense of my soul. Yeah, I want my back book to get hot, but I don't want my spirit to run cold. Yeah, I want fortune and fame, but not if my principles and values got to bend nor fall. I'd be damned if I go like Adam and Eve, booted out of paradise because of lust and greed. I'd be damned if I allow my unchecked need to succeed, cause my own falling. This is not my career, this is my calling. And I will wait until the spirit calls me before I set off running. Even when the enemies surround me and come gunning, I am shielded by a ring of fire that is always Bunny. So, it, it's really great. It's, it's really great if you are entertained. But really, this is food for your brain. This is why, this is why they call great men insane. This is why Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego feel no pain. There is a message coming through, and you got to reflect, genuflect, introspect, whatever you do, you need to do to make 
make sure the message gets through to you. But as an earthly filter, this body is filthy. So sit through carefully. Be smart. Realize where I missed the mark. I give thanks for everything I'm able to express in its true sense. I ask forgiveness for every incorrect word in every sentence. And I pray that you will have the wisdom to know the difference. <laughs> I know already. This is my new way. Tell me what is the other day.